what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today have a bit of a surprise is it i don't know um today we're gonna go look at something maybe pick it up and um we'll go from there all right yo so uh told y'all we we're getting a car today here it is 2006 Acura RSX Type S. <laughs> Wanted a daily, so I'm just just gonna get this. Hey, bro, you say I could get the car for free? Shit, slow, man. I ain't it's active it's slow. I'm, I just want the car for free. You want it for free? Yeah, bro. I can't do that. Man. <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, $500? What? <laughs> All right. All right, so I was joking about the other car um, that we picked up. This is the actual car that we picked up. Yeah, it looks rough, but we didn't pick this car up for the car. We picked it up for the motor. The motor and trans are pretty healthy. It's a 2003 um, RSX Type S. has a K20A2 motor with a six-speed uh, trans gearbox. We already bought the car. We got it for a steal. And we got the tow truck here ready to pick it up. So, uh, yeah, look at the car, um, getting some air in the tire, in the back tire, because it's flat. I know HOA is not going to like us right now for bringing in this car in, but it's going to be in my garage, so it should be straight. And, um, yeah. So we're dropping the motor hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. And then we'll just take out like parts that we can sell, like the interior parts. Definitely not the seats, because these seats are trash. But um, anything else that we can take. Yeah. Just made it home, got the car home. Um, the tow truck is actually gonna bring it in. So I'm gonna set my car up so I have more space to put this car in. So, uh, yeah. So we bought the car without even starting it. So you could, one could say it's an impulse purchase. We bought the car without hearing it start or anything, but through word of mouth, um, people who knows about the car, they vouched for it and they're like, yeah, it's straight. So I just took my battery out of my car and I'm gonna test it in this car to see if the car starts and go from there the battery on it's not tight but that should be fine i have the key and we are going to go try to start the car moment of truth it's not in gear Lights are on and started up no problem. First start. First, all right. It's running. This car hasn't been started in months. Yeah, we know we gotta get rid of all of that. Kind of rough on that side. But the motor sounds healthy. And that's why we got the car. So, um, now that I know the car starts, the motor is fine, we can start pulling this motor out of the car. All right, so y'all see the car start. So now we're gonna pull the motor, I think, or attempt to start pulling the motor. Gotta get the motor out of the car today because my car is not sleeping outside tonight. This is without the motor, so let's get to it. All right, so as I said, I didn't buy the car to have the car. I bought the car for the motor, and I am going to start pulling the motor apart. Well, take the motor out and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna start the time lapse now. Oh, 
little update. Got the AC condenser out of the car. Um, trying to get the radiator out so I can um go from there. But the bottom hose is being, you know, female. So I'm gonna try to get the bottom hose off, pull the freaking radiator out of the car, and then start working on the heavy stuff like the mounts and everything so I can get everything like dropped with the subframe and go from there. Look who it is, bro. Don't do that shit, bitch, I brought you food. Man, bro, food. And drink. And Publix, bro. You gotta love Publix. You can't go wrong. You can't. If you live in Florida, you know what this is all about. Mm -hmm. But the ones are cheap and they're good. True. So, yeah, starting to pull the wheel off the car. I'm gonna jack that side up. I already started jack, jacking that side up. And taking that wheel off, taking both wheels off, then dropping the car to the floor. Taking the, the mounts off, dropping the entire subframe with everything. Jacking the car up, pulling the subframe out with everything, taking the motor out, and reversing to get everything done. just did my side of the subframe um, Juan wants to break loose these bolts um, just kind of be careful with it because I don't want anything to drop if you actually got it to move then just use the gun yeah I thought it would be it like harder to like mine was dead yeah it wouldn't move so I had to use the breaker bar first so no, no, that's tightened, that's tightened. That's tightened. You sure? Yeah, because you always look. I had to tighten mine in so I could take it back out. Whoa. Alright. So I do want to apologize for not really recording much because we're trying to beat the time we are it's pretty much dark outside shut up bitch anyways <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to edit that one you know what i'm gonna leave it <laughs> <laughs> bro i'm trying to record this is the update that we have so far um motors on the floor loosen everything i think i think we have enough clearance to just pull the whole subframe with the motor out take the motor off the subframe and um yeah go from there what's going on guys i know y'all probably can't see me but motor is out the car right there car is empty it's now what like 12 12 30. it's about 12 30. i got the motor out car's getting out the garage my car's going back in so uh yeah I might just finish this video tomorrow because I'm tired. I'm just gonna get this car out, clean this garage before I get kicked out the house. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. What's going on guys? It's the next day. Got the motor out of the car ready. But we also sold the car and they are here to pick it up now. Here we got the motor with the trans just chilling. Um, the tow truck and the owner. Yep. I 
out of here. All right, so here's a good look at the motor. Full harness, full K20 A2 swap. It looks rough, the car's been sitting for a while. All this gunk here is, all right, so as I was saying before, the camera and my memory ran out. Um, it's a bit dirty. Motor's a bit dirty from all the grease and everything, but I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna have an episode on me cleaning the motor and painting the motor also, so uh, just stay tuned. What am I gonna be doing with this motor? Hang tight. So, as you guys seen, we uh, have the K-Series motor sitting, full motor, full swap. Um, who knows, I might get another car, throw it in there. Who knows, I might build that motor, who knows. Just stay tuned, um, stay up to date, and you guys will see. Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. Um, comment on the video what you think I'm gonna, what you think that I, um, I'm gonna be doing with this motor. Um, like the video, share the video, and uh, subscribe for more. Stay blessed, yo. Thanks.